Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. Call Halayim, La, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Salutation to you, sincere Akim out there, spreading His truth throughout the four corners of the globe in righteousness and in sincerity. All right. Starting with the elders and apostles on down. Most how willing this video be edifying. This one, this video is you know long overdue. I did it once. Somehow it got deleted, and then my internet didn't work. I couldn't redo it. You know, long story short, you know, but uh, I'm going to bring out basically about Dr. City's products as well as health comes from the Lord, man. Health comes from Yahweh, okay? Uh, the Most High, the Heavenly Father. And I remember when Dr. City passed because, you know, through the Spirit, I started, you know, studying health in the scriptures because Dr. City said, uh, you know, the, 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 the healings of the nations, the one who said, he said the herbs are for the healings of the nations, that the Bible said it, whatever the case may be. And I remember his, his, uh, his uh, brother died before him. He was talking about it, how he was a pastor. You know, those, those fake pork chop pastors, they don't follow the law, statute, commandments. Got, and he talked about how his diet was all messed up. You know, the, the scripture got dietary laws in it, man. You know, the scripture got dietary laws in it. But the thing is, ultimately, health comes from the most high. So it's protocols and the scriptures uh, 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 that pertains to the health, man. You know, that pertains to its protocol as far as getting that the, that that health. Okay. And Dr. Savi, man, he know the truth. But, you know, he kept following that uh that woman is God thing, man. Is is that That's madness. I'm going to say it straight up, you know. Yeah, brother, you know, he was real knowledgeable, whatever the case may be, but that that uh that woman is God thing is is, is madness. It's is it's a sickness of the mind itself, you know. But um I'm gonna play this clip because um I remember before he passed, he made uh months before a sit down video. Doctor Savi did an actual video himself saying that the Los Angeles office is compromised to not purchase any uh 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 items off the website or the office to, you have to go straight to honduras and get the herbs directly from him is what he said and the next thing you know months later he died i try to find that video i can't find it but i came across this video it says dr savi's son says jews raided his business office so i'm gonna play it and i'm gonna play i'm, I'm gonna bring out a couple more information and then bring out the scriptures He escorted him. Just said that they escorted, they they escorted a bunch of those people, man, with guns out of that office, man. I'm not going to play it all, but basically letting you know, man, they're compromised by the fake Jews, all right? Those Jewish rats, okay? Because they're not the real Jews, all right? Revelations 2-9, okay? They, they in, in the office in Los Angeles, you know, uh, those fake Jews run Hollywood. They run the media. They run the movie, all that stuff, man. So they wanted to buy that office off for a while, and then you know what? They finally got it. They compromised the products, and that's the spirit because I'm going to play this clip. But before I do that, I want to go back. <clears throat> I'm gonna show because I had purchased this product a while back before I knew all this, and it was from the Los Angeles, California office. I got it off the website, and I didn't use it because the spirit told me don't use it. Even though you know I I I know that uh, you know Dr. Savi's products are reputable, but something through the spirit told me not to do it. All right, and you gotta go with the spirit, man. Spirit, you know, spirit, power, spirit, y'all wash me out shy. And this is eye wash. You got to boil the herb 
You gotta strain it, then you put it in your eye, man. And I'm gonna play a clip. And now after that, I'm gonna bring out some scriptures. So what you saw there was, you know, an effeminate man got caught up. Product, man. And that's why I I brought that those first clips out before because if like if you'd have knew, people just get stuff, they don't research it, they just get it and use it, man. But if you knew, you know, that those products were compromised, you would have been uh you'd have been good, man. You know what I'm saying? But first and foremost, want to get this scripture, man. Matter of fact, I'll stay there. Because I um, just want to get this. Because they said that the, that the fake Jews, man, they compromised the product. And it says, rejoice. This is Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So you think you just about to go heal yourself all, you gonna let Jake heal himself in Babylon, you know what I'm saying, with all rhythm from all the disease and he not gonna find a way to to, to infiltrate? No, it's the, he's, it's, it's the devil, man, the adversary. So that's what happened, man, that's what he's doing. And our people, they're not being sober, man. You know what I'm saying? They're not being sober. Remember in First Peter 5 and 8, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Now, you've seen that dude wasn't sober-minded, you know, clearly. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, you're not, you know, you're not, you, can, you can hear his spirit, you know, is, is a little off and feminine and whatnot. And then he just chose to just go ahead and just try the product, you know what I'm saying, without doing research. And he, he said it. It was all at my own risk. It is at your own risk, man. And and, and that's not that's on a low level, but how much more uh uh how much more um uh, death? Cause that was a, you know, his head was deformed, whatever the case, but how much more death, man? Cause the scripture talks about that, man. I'm bring script another scripture. Um, he, Hebrews, Hebrews 10 and um, uh, 31, man. This book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31, it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living uh, God. It is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power because you got all these people saying, oh, the woman is God, the woman is God, you know, all the people that follow after Dr. Sabi and, you know what I'm saying, as far as uh, follow 
uh, that Kemet movement or, you know, that Pan-Africanism and all that stuff, man, you know, they actually strive with man and they're actually striving with women, you know, putting women over them. And guess what? No matter what you say, you're going to end up in the hands of the living power, man. And it's a fearful thing that you didn't fear the Heavenly Father. You feared, you know, women or you feared man, you know. It's crazy because if you even look, man, I right, Dr. Sebi was healing people as far as the physical flesh, but guess what? He didn't really, uh, he really wasn't uh, giving the ultimate healing. He healed what? Uh, uh, left eye Lopez from what? Herpes. And then what happened? She got put to death. It was another uh, case where a couple went to Dr. Sebi to, to get cured for, I believe, uh, cancer. And then basically she, she, she didn't make it. But she strove. She went all the way over to Honduras with you know, her husband. And then she wound up, you know, passing away. You know what I'm saying? And if you can look at the case with Dr. Sebi himself, man. You know? They got they, they, they took Dr. Sebi. They had him in captive. They Nobody knew about it. And then they said he died from uh, ammonia. That's the devil. He was murdered, man. He was murdered. That's why the scriptures say, man, it's fearful to fall in the, in the hands of the living power, man. It's a fearful thing, man. That's why you got to fear the most high, you know what I'm saying? So the most high got mercy on you, man. People people getting killed out here. But I'm bringing another scripture to prove that the, that the healing comes from the Lord, man. It don't come from man. The most high give the increase to, to, you know what I'm saying, for man to heal you. But it comes from the Lord first and foremost. That's what people need to understand. This is Ecclesiastes 38. Well, I'm gonna start verse nine. It says, "My son, in thy sickness, be not negligent, but pray unto the Lord, and He will make thee whole." There you go, man. In your sickness, be not negligent. Now, this sickness is not only talking about no flesh, man. It ain't talking about just your flesh, because you got people that are sick in the flesh, sick in the head, all right, the mental, all right, and sick spiritually, man. You know, spiritually sick. That's why people need healing, and not people would rather go and seek the, the the flesh, man, the vain things of this world, you know. And it says, "But don't be negligent. You ain't supposed to be negligent in your sickness, man. You're supposed to pray unto the Lord, all right. And he and the, and, and he will make thee whole." It says, "Leave off from sin." Then you gotta know, find out what sin is, man. First John three and four: For sin, for whoever sin trans also transgresses the law. For transgression, for, for sin is transgression of the law, you know, not verbatim, but that's what sin is. So you got to know what is in the law, man. You got to know what's in the law. First five books of Moses, the beginning of the Bible, all right, or the law, or the Tanakh, the Torah. You need to understand that there's not only 10 commandments, it's 613, man, law, statutes, and commandments. And it says, leave off from sin and order thy hands aright and cleanse thy heart from all wickedness. Give a sweet savor and a memorial fine flower and make a fat offering as not being. Then give place to the physician. So now you're supposed to give place to the physician, man. You're not supposed to just go straight to the physician. you skipping all these steps before that. It's an it's a, it's a order to this thing. It's a protocol, man. It's a, code of, it's a code of conduct as far as dealing with killing too, man. Most high deals with order and balance. Scripture so talk about that, man. Do all things in decency and order. And what? Then give place to the physician. And it's another cut, too, because I saw somebody on Instagram from IUIC, all right? And let's call it what it is. And told told another brother that was young in the faith, basically, yo, if you sick, you know, just go straight to Esau because the uh, Ecclesiasticus talks about that. You, that you got a good place to the physician. Going, you get in the hands of, you got to go into the hand, or uh, fall into the hand of the physician. It's not talking about Esau, man. It's not talking about Edomite doctors, man. All right. Yeah, you know, a lot of people got fall, uh, got to fall into the hands of the Edomite doctors. They do, but this is not what it's talking about. Because how you gonna sit in here and say that when the Edomite doctors, they they got to make a Hippocratic oath. And they got to make an oath and pray unto other gods, man. This scripture say pray unto the Lord, the Heavenly Father, the, the, the power of the Israelites. They don't say Hippocrates. They don't say them other Greek gods. So that's a straight cut to that, you know. So those people don't know what they're really talking about, man. And they're, they're, that, that's leading our people to the slaughter. It says, then give place to the physician, for the Lord have created him. 
the heavenly father created him. Let him not go from thee, for thou hast need of him. There is a time when in their hands there is good success, for they shall also pray unto the Lord. They shall also pray unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. All right? They got to pray unto the Lord too, not to Hippocrates or the other Greek gods, man. Because that's the, that, all that, that, the whole, that whole way of living is from the, the Greeks, man. The Hellenistic uh, uh, ways, man. It says, for they shall also pray unto the Lord that he would prosper that which they give for ease and remedy to prolong life, man. To prolong someone's life. It says, he that sinneth before his maker sinneth. All right. Who can sin? The Israelites. So the Israelites, that's he that sinneth before his maker. Let him fall into the hand of the decision. OK. I'm going to bring up uh, 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 an example because I already brought out a few, a couple examples that that one clip with a guy with the head. Right. You know what I'm saying? Other other examples, you know what I'm saying? But I'm um my fact I'm gonna bring out a, a a biblical example, man. We're gonna go in the scriptures and find out, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, Second Chronicles sixteen. I'm gonna start at twelve. It says in Asa, all right, King Asa says in Asa in the thirty and ninth year of his reign was disease in his feet. Until his disease was exceeding great, yet in his disease he sought not to the Lord. Okay, he didn't sought, he didn't uh, seek out Yahweh. It says what? But to the physicians. So he didn't go through those protocols what we already read in Ecclesiastes thirty eight nine on down. He went straight to the physicians. So he was way out of line, man. In verse thirteen, and Asa slept with his. His fathers and died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. So years later, not even that long later, man. What about like a couple of years later? Thirty nine, and then it says forty one. Well, then two three years later, man, he died. Most high is not playing, man. That's why scripture talk about it's fearful to fall in the hands of the Lord. Most high is not playing. You know what I'm saying? Scripture say, be not negligent, but praying to the Lord. Where does it say? He didn't pray to the Lord. He went straight to the physicians, man. That's an example. And that's an example why people do when they go and seek out uh, uh, all uh, all these other so-called uh, healing doctors, man. And these healing doctors is wrong. They don't tell you to pray unto Yahweh by Shem was shot. There is one doctor he does, man. I, I give him a surprise. I forgot his name. You know, Salak, but, you know, it's one, one, you know, he does uh, give reverence to the Lord and he heals and he talks about the herbs and stuff like that. But all these other ones, man, nah, they tell you, you know, the woman is, the woman is God or, you know, yeah, I, I heal. And they believe that heal is coming from them, from man, from the creature, from the pot, you know, not the one who made the pot. He, he you know what I'm saying? You striving with your maker, you know, you got people that are, that are, that, are, that are quick to go to. Uh, polite now, you know what I'm saying for healing or all these any any other one of these healer. When guess what? What 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 polite do? He's a scammer, man. He take your money. You know what I'm saying? He got people that 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 fell victim as far as couldn't pay their uh you know houses and and car payments and stuff like that, man. These people take your money, man. That's not no, that's not a real physician. That's not a physician of the Lord. That's a physician of this world. You know you know different than uh any one of these other doctors, man. And that's facts. That's scriptures, man. You know? I'm bringing another scripture out too, man. As far as uh, uh, proving, like, yo, man. Yo, don't fall into the hands of man. It's better to fall into the hands of the Lord. Because at the end of the day, everybody's going to fall into the hands of the Lord. Can no one deliver out of the Lord's hands, man? No one. Who, who can? There is no other power. <clears throat> Ecclesiasticus 2. I'm sorry, 15. It says, they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts, okay, your mind, your spirit, man. He will word law, man, your hearts, man. You got to prepare your heart, man, and humble their souls in his sight. You got to be humble. 
when you're in your sickness, man. You got to get your mind right, and you got to humble your souls in his sight, all right? And it says, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. So you got to humble your heart, humble your, uh, uh, you got to uh, prepare your heart, humble your soul, and then the, and sit in, and basically uh, submit yourself to fall into the hands of the Lord. So the Lord will have mercy on you versus people, our people, they fall into the hands of men. You see what these doctors do out here. You know, you see what these other people do out here, right? And you fall into the hands of men. And the men, they just take your bread and go, man. Take your take your organs in, in these doctors, you know, in these hospitals. You know, they mess with you. They say you one thing wrong. They give you these 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 herbs. And then guess what? You got to take another uh, 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 pharmaceutical drug or whatever the case may be, man. It's just madness. You, and you want to fall into the, into the hands of the Lord anyway. So instead of going straight to the Lord, man, you know, why when people are are dying, who you think gets the credit for all of, all of, uh, for you dying, man? Who you think gets the credit? Seriously. Samuel chapter two verse six, the Lord killeth, okay, Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. You know, he can make someone poor. He can make someone rich. And just because someone is rich, guess what? Does it mean what? What does that mean? It don't mean nothing, man. Because he could take you out if you rich. He could take you out if you poor. That's the whole. The whole thing is the Most High is uh uh uh, uh deals with balance. He has a just weight, a just balance. If you poor, you still in your sickness gotta seek the Lord and humble um and humble your souls and get your mind get your mind right, man. Get your get your hearts right, man. And if you rich, the same thing, man. But most high willing, you know, this was edifying. All right, just wanna give all praises to the heavenly Father and the name of His only begotten Son. Call Halal Yum La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. In salutation to you, sincere I came out this run is true. The other four corners of the globe and righteousness and sincerity, starting with the L's and the positives on down. Shalom.